I'm scared to make this video, partly because I want it to be good, and I want this to live up to the quality where we actually get into the prospect and we understand what's going on with this situation here, because when it comes to the 2021 NHL Entry Draft, things are kind of weird at the top. Because over the past few years, we've always kind of known who was going to go first overall. In 2015, we had Connor McDavid. In 2016, we had Austin Matthews. In 2017, it was kind of ambiguous. We had Nolan Patrick as the number one guy for a long time before that draft, but then Nico Hischer overtook him. But that's kind of the caveat. It's not really usually like that. 2018, we had Rasmus Dahlin. 2019, we had Jack Hughes. 2020, we had Alexi Lafreniere. These were all the first overall guys that people kind of knew were going to go first overall for the majority of the year. But this time around, yeah, no, that first overall race, it's completely wide open. And there are realistically like seven, eight, maybe even nine guys that you could say could go first overall. And that's just how crazy this draft is. Now, I'll say right off the bat here, it's not that, oh, there are nine players that are like Alexi Lafreniere in this draft. No, I think if you took Alexi Lafreniere and put him in the 2021 draft, he would still go first overall. You would say the same thing about Jack Hughes, in my opinion. You'd say the same thing about Matthews. Same thing about Dolly and same thing about Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon, a few of those guys, etc. If those players were in this draft, they would go first overall, no doubt. It's just this draft at the top has so many good players, but none of the absolute game-changing franchise number one guys like Alexi Lafreniere are, for example. That's kind of why people were kind of harping on this year's draft, because the overall talent ceiling of the top guys, it's not at the same level as the previous players, but it does not mean that there are bad players in this draft, because so many of the guys in this draft, especially at the top of the draft, can be good NHL game-changing players. It's just, in terms of magnitude and value, you could say Alexei Lafreniere trumps them all. But the guy who many people thought was going to be the projected number one overall pick in the 2021 draft is whom we're talking about here today. Let's talk about Atu Ratu. And yeah, it's spelt Atu Rati, but the Y in Finnish, it's not pronounced like that. It's pronounced Atu Ratu. He actually has a brother, Aki Ratu, who was taken by the Arizona Coyotes in the most previous entry draft, but... Atu Ratu is the guy who many people thought would have been that projected first overall player. He's a guy, if you go back to the franchise generational tier list that we made a few, what, a year ago? Oh man, it's a year and a bit ago, actually. I put Atu Ratu in the tier of his own, but compared to everybody else, you can kind of see where he stacks up in terms of my overall view of his potential in the previous year and a half. A lot of this had to do with what Atu Ratu did in 2018-19, which is when we made that video. Because for the Junior ASM Liga in the U20 League, as a guy who was 16 years old playing against U20 competition, he had 31 points in 41 games played, 12 points, 10 games played in the playoffs. And for the U17s and the U18s, he was a pretty good player, showing himself off internationally, showcasing the skill and the speed that he has. We'll get into a little bit more as to what makes him a good player a little bit later, but for now we're just going over the numbers, Atu Ratu in the most recent season of play played in the Junior SM Liga again, but he also played in the normal Finnish Liga, where he scored a pretty respectable 4 points in 12 games played again as a 16-17 year old player that's really good. He also played for Team Finland at the U18s, where he was a point per game in all international tournaments, and he played at the World Juniors, the normal World Juniors, where he scored two goals and one assist in seven games played, again, as an underage player in this tournament. That's kind of why people were like, okay, when it comes to the overall progression, Atu Ratu's up there first, and also the talent, which is kind of why he's even in there, because he wouldn't be getting these opportunities if he wasn't talented. Atu Ratu made his bread and butter by being a very complete 200-foot hockey player who has some pretty good wheels. Honestly, when this guy picks up the puck and he starts galloping down the ice, he honestly kind of reminds me of Connor McDavid, and that's not to say that he's going to be McDavid, I'm just saying the way that he skates, the way he runs with it, it kind of reminds me of Connor McDavid. You know when McDavid picks up the puck in the neutral zone, and he starts doing the crossovers while handling the puck? back and forth on the forehand backhand, he's just kind of galloping, you know, like a horse, and he's got that steady motion. Atu Ratu kind of has that same quality when he picks up the puck and he starts going at it. However, he made his living by also having a very, very good shot. His goal scoring ability throughout all levels of the U18, U20 international play, as well as normal U20 SM Liga play, 
was astounding. This guy could absolutely whip the puck to the goal, absolutely roof it from anywhere. He's got a really quick release that gets it off in a hurry. He beats goaltenders up high, and he was a very good combination of all these things. For a little bit of an extended look, let's go over onto Joke Nevalainen's write up on Atsu Ratsu from August 2020 on Dopper Prospects. The first overall projected pick for the 2021 draft at the start of his draft season, but he'll need to work hard to maintain that top spot throughout the season because he's not a lock to go first. He has all the tools to become a very good number one center in the NHL, but consistency has been the main problem in his career so far. Excellent draft minus two in the Finnish Junior League, but he couldn't build on it in his draft minus one. He seemed to be trying to do too much and being in his head a little bit too much. He did, however, get to play some games against men at the league level, and he played an important role at the World Juniors as well. He's on the older side for this draft class, but considering how long he's been on the radar and where his game is at now, it is not a concern. Most notable skill, great skating ability, having great hands, good at the cycle game, good playmaking as well. 200-foot game, defensive performance at the World Juniors, awesome to see there, and this is kind of where things kind of varied because he was supposed to be a full-time league of player, but Karpat is a very deep team, so we'll see how exactly things are going to go as well. Akiratu, Arizona prospect as well, definitely something to look forward to. Which is why, in this most recent season of play, this year, playing for the Karpak U20 team as a guy who is 18 years old, he is just under a point per game there. In the Finnish Liga, normally he has two goals in six games played. It's a little bit of a step back compared to what people were expecting. Especially for a guy who many people pegged as the first overall caliber player for the 2021 draft. And the fact is, we've been seeing so many other players in the draft that are doing so well right now. Owen Power with the University of Michigan Wolverines, Kent Johnson for that same team. We have William Eklund absolutely dominating the Jur Gardens with Alexander Holtz, who was also eligible for this year's draft too. Then you have the CHL guys as well, Carson Lambos, Dylan Gunther, Brant Clark. There have been so many players who are so capable of being top picks in this draft that the first overall conversation is now really muddy, especially since Atiratu, the supposed first overall guy, has been struggling a little bit. If you go over to Sportsnet's first consolidated ranking for this year, you have Atiratu at 14. 14! People were really harping on this scouting report, by the way. Draft year blues have taken the sting out of the momentum he created last season. Limited minutes whenever he's in the lineup, there's no mention of him being the first overall guy who many people thought would have been the first overall guy about, what, half a year ago? No detail as to what he did last year, no accomplishments listed. It's just kind of whack, but... The fact is, if you go over to his current projections, take a look at who has him where. You have the first consolidated ranking over here by the neutral zone. They have met second overall behind Owen Power, who is just so good. But at the end of the day, Atsu Ratu, as a solidly framed left-handed center, is in that conversation for first overall. A year ago, everybody thought he was going to go first overall. But... The fact that he has been somewhat disappointing in terms of the numbers that people thought he would have been able to get, and the overall expectation for him, as well as the fact that there are so many other prospects who are just showing themselves off so well, makes this conversation a lot more money. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Atsu Ratsu. Do you think he's going to go first overall? Honestly, if I were a betting man, I'd probably say no, because the likelihood of a Luke Hughes or an Owen Power or a Kent Johnson going first overall as well... Those all kind of exist too, and the odds are stacked against Atu Ratu in particular in that department because normally with these conversations, it's oh, who's going to be first overall, Lafreniere or Byfield? At the very worst case scenario, it's Lafreniere, Byfield, or Stutzla. Those are three names to go off of. Right now in this 2021 draft, it's Ratu, Hughes, Johnson, Edvinson, Lambos, Gunther. There's so many names. So. Yeah, we're going to talk about a lot of these guys as the draft comes closer as well. I mean, not closer. I mean, it's in a year, so whatever. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Atu Ratu. Hope you enjoyed this video. That is Trolls 99. And bye. <laughs>